Businesses in downtown Santa Barbara are standing against drunk driving. A campaign organized by Vow for Mal, a nonprofit created to raise awareness against driving under the influence, is holding an event tonight. And News Channel 3's Vicki Nguyen joins us live from State Street. And Vicki, this is aimed at UCSB students because that's where Mallory dies was a student. That's right, CJ. And as you can see behind me, that nightlife going on in downtown Santa Barbara is very lively right now. People are out. There's a lot of cars in the area and people walking around. And yes, like you said, Mallory Dyes was killed a few years ago by a drunk driver in the area. And today, all of her friends and family are uniting. They're asking people to not let their friends drink and drive, especially the students in our area. Drinking and driving hurts. Every day. Just ask Matt Dyes. I walk by a picture and I'll put my finger, touch their nose and say, I love you. A drunk driver killed Matt's daughter Mallory nearly three years ago. Mallory was just a very special, special person um, that lit up any room that she was in. And it's why so many people are still with us at Val for Mal. Since then, Matt and Mallory's friends, like Matt Moore, have been busy. Every day when we see people even just supporting wearing these shirts, every day you'll see people wearing these yellow wristbands. Everyone's supporting it by just wearing the color yellow. It's amazing. It's an amazing feeling just to see the community support this girl even years after she's been gone. They're kicking off a new campaign. Gauchos don't let gauchos drive drunk. It only made sense for us to join this movement to try and build this idea for kids to just figure out what they want to do for the night, uh, put a plan together, and then execute it so you do not drink and drive. With help from people in the bar and service industry in downtown Santa Barbara, Mallory lives on, reminding everyone to make the smart and right decision. If we can make the world a little bit better, keep some tragedies from happening and get some people home safe at night. That's what we're about. And as you can see, there are a lot of taxis lined up in the downtown area. So basically, there is no excuse for anyone to drive drunk after a great night out with friends. And everyone in this area, most people actually, will be wearing these wristbands that I have on my wrist here, as well as wear T-shirts in hopes to get people to remember Val and also their vow to not drive drunk. Reporting on State Street, Vicki Nguyen, News Channel 3. Okay, thank you, Vicki.